you mentioned there's a huge um, issue with mental health yeah. conditions that a lot of people are facing yeah. right so i have two questions to it mm -hmm. one is uh, is it across age groups if so you know like what can be done right because mm -hmm. there are uh, a lot of startups there are a lot of people there's a lot of awareness that's coming right. through that there is mental fitness is needed right but what how when where nothing is <laughs> yeah. being talked of so maybe yeah. that is the area that you could talk about sure so with um, see mental health again um, the demographic that we help the most like the ones who come to us and say that okay i need help are the ones who are in the 35 to 45 50 at the most okay for some reason we've seen the older people uh, want to just focus on their physical symptoms they don't really want to acknowledge that they were, they might want to work on their mindset right like i'm speaking of the 60 and above they'll happily partner with us for diabetes blood pressure and everything and so, sometimes you do say, tend to see patterns right okay there's anxiety and there's like a tendency to have mood swings and they'll be like nee, nee, wo theek hai. family issues kind of a thing right with the very young ones uh, with them parents come to us for other things that might be happening to them like the kids who are on the spectrum of course that's those cases are like long term kind of engagements but even um, let's say uh, parents of teenagers who come to us because weight issues are there or um, there's some kind of autoimmune condition going on or even the kids who come to us for performance nutrition right like they are into sports and they want to improve their sports performance very rarely do, do those parents speak about mental health the people who are working with us around their mental health are the ones in the 30, uh, yeah, 35 to 50 age group. Uh, there's a degree of self-awareness. Uh, I think um, they're open to that discussion. And uh, what we've seen is we don't really start mental health work unless the first foundation, which is the body, is sorted. Because someone could have a B12 deficiency and could be experiencing a lot of uh, issue with moods and sleep and anxiety because b12 is required to make a lot of neurotransmitters in your brain right all the reward chemicals even your uh, the calming down neurotransmitters that are needed b12 is required to make that if you have a raw material deficiency like you don't have enough fuel in your car and you're saying the car is not starting it's a problem of not having enough fuel it's right. not a problem with the car right so we always first focus on the body on the nutrition optimizing all of these raw materials so Magnesium, we found, right? So many people who say that, okay, uh, they have issues with uh, mental health, where their anxiety, I mean, they're anxious and then uh, even anger issues or irritation or annoyance or they feel tired, they feel no motivation. We wait until the magnesium supplementation starts. <laughs> so we don't even address, we'll be like, okay, we'll just listen to them, we'll give them that space. Uh, and then we've seen how magnesium really helps the brain to such a large degree that what people think are psychological issues are basically just physiological ones. So B12, magnesium, vitamin D, even protein, uh, these play a significant role in mental health. Once this stuff is done, and if someone is still experiencing issues, right, then we look into what could be happening with the psyche, what could be happening with trauma processing, and what could also be happening in terms of their spiritual connected self. Uh, because for me, uh, See, one, what, like initially I just started off with nutrition, right? Now I look at it as a far more uh, holistic thing. It's literally like, you know, you're here, you're alive and you're here to embrace the entire human experience, right? Yeah. Which means your body, your mind, your emotions and your soul. Everything has to uh, work as one unit. So um, a lot of mental health issues arise when people have broken mental frameworks uh, around... Uh, what they're supposed to be doing, how they're being perceived in society, how people look at failures. Failures is such a big thing for a lot of people, right? Because we've not been trained to look at failures as a good thing. We've been trained to look at failures as something to be ashamed of. Um, a lot of people are walking around with this broken feeling of they're not good enough. Even now, even now where people are speaking of mental health, a man, when he actually has a breakdown and tears flow, it's very hard for them to do that, right? It's just not okay in society. Yeah. So we help people process emotions, uh, not just through conversation, but also with somatic work. So when I say somatic, it's uh, body work, right? So actual right. movement, um, 
breath work you start activating the vagus nerve which is your connection between your gut and your brain and the vagus nerve is really uh, spread over through your body so when you activate the vagus nerve that again changes the entire stress processing that you have in your system um there are there are movements beyond just uh, exercise which uh, like yoga actually when when you ask like i keep telling people that there's a lot of ancient wisdom integrated Correct. in the work we do right but if you look at a lot of the way not the way yoga is taught now like not cardio yoga and uh, kickboxing yoga i don't know what that is but uh, you traditional, know the, yeah traditional yes. holding of postures with certain breaths with certain locks inside your system which is called as bandhas they actually really help move energy yeah. so we work on that as well and then of course we work on the spiritual hey thanks a lot for watching this podcast if you liked it hit the like button subscribe right now okay you'll find a whole lot of videos most importantly if you like this particular video the whole video which is a long one you can grab that too Check it out now.